Hi there, Daphne here. I'm one of the tutors at artspodcast.com. Thank you for sending in your essay for some feedback. Uh, okay, so let's look at this. So your word count you are on. 285. Okay, I don't know what band school you're looking for, but if you're looking for a band 7-ish, um, you need to probably get this essay a bit longer, maybe up to about 350 words, just to develop your paragraphs more. So some people argue it's the responsibility of the police to educate children about good behaviour in society. Others believe parents should be responsible for teaching their children how to behave. Okay, Discuss both views and give your opinion. So children are the future of society and they should be taught, watch out there, that's thought, you've got think, uh, you want taught, like teach, to behave in a good manner from their childhood, absolutely. Who will teach them this good behaviour is an arguable point. Okay, I think I've changed that maybe into whether. Start with a whether rather than who. Whether um, law enforcement agencies, you could say, uh, that's for the police, whether law enforcement agencies uh, or the children's parents should educate them or should, maybe let's not use educate, should inform them about what is right or wrong is debatable. It is just using, I'd use whether rather than who. Um, teaching by both society members has its pros and cons. So um, I definitely would avoid that. That's too informal for me. I'd restructure this with whether, then I give your opinion because it's an opinion essay. So I definitely need your opinion in here. And then never use this pros and cons. That's very, very informal. Be very careful. Don't use that in IELTS. Um, so I would give your opinion and you could say something like, um, I believe that parents are the most suitable people because they are they know their child well or because they have high standards or something like that. So give a little bit more of your opinion here. So undoubtedly, parents are the first teachers of their child. Um, as he starts learning from home, okay, uh, just go because uh, learning, learning right from wrong starts from a very young age and in the family home. And then you could give a little example of what you mean, even just a small example from what a child might learn. So I give another sentence in here, developing what we mean by that first sentence. Then behaviour of his parents with each other and with others outside the family creates, EA, creates a first impression in his mind. Um, and because of this, the child, rather than he, I'd go the child and I'd link these into more complex sentences starts behaving in a similar way and gets into a good habit. Um, so, and then you don't need that because you've already said that. This is okay. And then, for example, it has often been stated that youngsters, so I'm trying to mix up the vocab in who have been brought up, um, and you could say in a strict uh, stand, a strict way by their parents, um, have a higher moral standard or have a higher, better understanding of what's right and wrong, um, and are less likely to get into a life of crime. So you need to kind of develop this. I like the idea of where you're going, but you need to develop it more. Longer sentences, um, and then the coherence, each sentence will go one from the other. So this is what we look at in the course, on Ben's course. He teaches you exactly how to develop these paragraphs so they read really beautifully. Um, now, now I want the other side of the argument. So I want, however, you're going to give me the other side now. Signal to me in your linking words, sorry, signal in your linking words where you're going. So I need to know that this is, okay, that's one about the parents, and this is uh, the police. 
Being the guard to law and order, the police have, plural, moral duty at times to teach good behaviour lesson. Absolutely. Not just at times, I'd say, it, it, you know, always have that responsibility. Uh, have a responsibility to teach uh, good behaviour. So we keep on repeating good behaviour. We're repeating a lot that word in the question. So let's think of other ways how we could do that. Yeah, children how to avoid crime, children how to be respectful. Uh, children also adopt their behaviour from the society they live in. Yes, adopt, our, you could go into a passive, are influenced by something like that. Um, if society people misbehave, then police come in to teach them a lesson of behaviour. Okay, good to try a conditional. If in society, or if members of the society misbehave, you need a comma there with your conditional, the police come in, okay, are bought in, use another passive to teach them uh, right from wrong or to correct them. So we don't want to keep on using this word. You see how often you're using it now. Um, many a time the police have to be tough with miscreants and imprison them and teach them a lesson, of course. Um, if the police fail to teach children, fail to teach, then children may become, we don't know, I mean, they might not always, obviously, but, but may become regular offenders, on the other hand, sometimes being too harsh creates a negative effect. Okay, I think you can go quite, you've got some good points here. I think you almost want to uh, make a point and then run with it, make it, develop it, make it longer. So where would the police do this? The police could come into schools, the police could be involved in the education of children. Um, so it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to wait for a crime to be committed, but the police could be involved in deterring. So there's quite a lot of language that we could be using in here. In conclusion, I need your opinion again. In my opinion. Um, yes, okay, you could say, well, parents should be the primary um, disciplinarians. Uh, so children could be first, oh, sorry, parents could be first. You could say that the um, police maybe could work with with teachers and provide a supplementary care. So make sure we have your opinion in here and then you're going to go back on some of the main points you've made. Uh, it is very important in IELTS to have an opinion. It's much more difficult to try and argue both. It's better to just go, actually, I think this is the way and then the other way is not so good. That will give you a better balanced essay, actually, as well. Um, so you've got some good stuff in here. I don't know if you're at the beginning of your preparation, if you've done IELTS before or not. Uh, check out Ben's course. I think that could really help you uh, get more confident, I think, in what's needed here in the structure of the essay, as well as helping you to build in some really great grammar, which the examiners love. Well done.